I'm a big fan of the Traveler's Notebooks and I've been wanting the passport size for a long time. So I finally decided to get one and I wanted to share with you guys the unboxing and all the things that I bought with it. I bought it online from Joseca Stationery. It was my first time ordering from this store and I'm really happy with the way they packaged my items and they even added a cute little note and a sticker. Before I get into it, let's open the extra things that I bought. I like adding new stickers to my collection, and when I saw this sticker pack of little black cats, I had to buy it. It reminds me so much of my cat Onyx. Next, I got this die cut letter set, and I think they are very cute. I have already sent one of the pink cards to a friend, but I'm planning to use the rest of the cards for my journal spreads. I made a video on tips on how to write letters to a friend. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description down below. I got one of these plastic clips and now I feel like I need it in some of the other colors too. Now it's time to open my new passport size traveler's notebook and I went with the newest olive color. At first I thought about getting the camel color but I'm such a fan of green and this color looked so beautiful that I couldn't pass on it. This is what it looks like. The green color is very subtle. I could say that it's more brown than green, but I really like it. I prefer darker color leather because I think it hides the scratches better than a lighter color. It comes with one blank notebook insert and a gray color elastic band. I also like to use the elastic band that comes with the box to attach my other inserts. I'll show you how I do that later. This underlay is part of the 2024 Traveler's Town collection. And by the time I made my purchase, most of the items were sold out. But luckily, they still had a few of the underlays for the passport size. So I got one. I think the design is so beautiful. I love the green and the gold details. I thought that it would be a nice reminder of the year when I got my first passport size notebook. For me, a zipper case is a must. I have one in my regular size notebook and I use it so much. Next, I got this sketch paper insert. It's more of a thick paper, so it's perfect for mixed media art. I got two different color craft paper inserts, one for my passport size and one for my regular size notebook. I think these are going to be so fun to use and I'm still debating if I should use them for sketches or for journal spreads. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below.
Now let's put everything together and see how it looks. I don't like my notebook super bulky, so I'm going to keep a sample with only two notebook inserts, the sketch paper and the green craft paper. I'm also going to add the super case and the underlay. I'm a big fan of small size notebooks and I love that I can have a small version of my favorite journal and be able to customize it the way I want it. I'm excited to put this new baby in my bag and take it with me everywhere I go. And since I have a regular size notebook, I wanted to show you a comparison between the regular size and the passport size notebook. You can also see the difference between colors. The regular size notebook is a dark brown color. I hope that you liked this video. I'm planning to make more videos using my traveler's journals. So if you like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.